of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Well, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? You're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliott. You take the Camp Elliott bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units, a 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. You don't have to handle identifying code three. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Take the next right turn. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it.
Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. Weapons. Okay. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Why you watch it? He's hiding in the air! <laughs> Assholes already screwed me once. It's over, Bowers.
to ourselves. Come on then, pretty boy. It's over, Bowers! That uniform doesn't feel tough, does it? doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. 
Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Galetta. May we receive pearl earrings made out to Bank of Arcadia. Make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. All right, all right, yes. Um, can I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? How dare you accuse me of lying? God, I think you're horrible. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you.
Excuse me. I'd better get the store closed up. Junk. Tell me what's going on. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Cop, this has got to be something big, right? Clear this area immediately. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. This is awful. Just awful. Why can't we get any closer? This is a crime scene. All of you move along.
10 Browning. Serial number 01138. I need to run to buy a gun store. We have the murder weapon? But no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on me. We could trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. We're here. Take the next right. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Go right just now. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Straight on. Straight through the next intersection. Next left. You should take the next right. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like it never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help.
straight. Turn left when you can. Take the next right. It's the next right. That's coming out of your wages, not mine. Take the next right. This road. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Be careful! Kalu! Get back here! Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh... Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he didn't like it. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Kalu! Get back here! Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. 
The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the wars. Sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Yes, sir. But I'm curious as to whether... Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Come on, Mr. Kalu. Make this easy on yourself. Get it off your conscience. You think I'm stupid? You think I'll just do whatever you want because you're a nice guy? I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Gage was an asshole, but his death wasn't down to me. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up.
You blew a man out of his socks over an empty grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! Has my lawyer arrived? Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Wing-leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needed.
Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. The thing was, he was a real nice guy. I felt lousy collaring him. I'm going to memorize your name and throw my head away. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walks. Olive oil will come tomorrow. Isn't he a cop who won the medal in the Where's baby oil? Where his tape got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. They say we bust in there and find the goddamn head. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Cross over, keep going straight. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2 identified. Straight on here. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Mikowski? Straight through the next intersection. We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Checked back home. Had a year on the beat. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now, let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Next right. Take the next right. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? Turn right when you can. The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? 
I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Left. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Keep going straight. This is ACB. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Straight ahead here. Calling the House on American Activities Committee to order. Chairman J. Parnell Thomas of New Jersey opens an inquiry. You're taking the next right. Penetration of a Hollywood film industry. Right up ahead. You need to take the next left. Mr. Thomas takes an impartial stand in his opening talk. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the facts of the Go straight through here. Investigating alleged communist influence and infiltration in the moving picture industry must not be considered. Slow down! So 459 just occurred at 6th and Sarah's. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. I have every confidence that the vast majority of buoy workers are patriotic and loyal Americans. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw... Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. All units of 459 just occurred in 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. Calling the House on American Activities Committee. Up on the roof, off. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Or what? 
How long do you think you can hold out? You want to back off right now. You want me to paint the fucking sidewalk? Stand down now. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. Calling the House on American Activities Committee to order. And Chairman Jason. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Your weapons down. Propaganda. Mr. Thomas takes an impartial stand in his opening talk. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the take the next right. Find 
elsewhere in America. But we neither shield nor defend them. We want them exposed. We're not responsible for the political or economic ideas of any individual. We'll be but taking the next right. For what goes on the screen. Any unit able to handle citizen reports at 211 in progress, 437 East State Street, unit to handle code 3 identify. We will never permit them. Take the next right. KTI is a member of the American Century Broadcasting Network. Turn left up ahead. Almost there now. For four years, the brave men of our United States Armed Forces fought gallantly. Stop just ahead. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Nice day for it. How's the world looking? How long are you gonna keep me uh, here, sir? Oh, it's the same two of you, fine. How about you? I better get back to work, sir. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical jokers say it's contaminated soil, well, I guess. What's going on over there? That's kind of what shit. Brand name might give us something to go on. I don't think so.
Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Tell me the truth. You hit the driver with the pipe. You can't prove I touched that pipe. I think you should take that gun off, and I'll teach you a lesson in some manners. You want to arrest me now, or can I go back to work? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Doc? Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it.
I best be heading back to work. My boss is gonna give me hell regardless. This is your problem now. Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. Keep searching. Hey, Flatfoot, you're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> you guys, take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. Let Clear this sure, area immediately. What's going on over there? Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. Two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You rifled the wallet. My money is my money. You can't prove I touched that wallet. Man does the right thing, and the police try to turn him into a criminal. Don't leave town, Mr. Wilkie. We'll get in touch with your employer if we need anything more from you. I'll let him know why I missed half my shift today. Your boy should learn some gratitude. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. in Los Angeles, California, New York, New York. Casting. Six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill, a couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Obviously, someone got a little heavy-handed. Right turn, coming up. It's the wrong way around. How so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car, and it goes wrong, 
We leave the body behind, not the car. Well, we got something there, fellas. Doesn't add up. All units, officer, you see how major 415, 1624 West 3rd Street, 1624 West 3rd Street. Any unit to handle code 3, identify. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he bops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. The Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> Straight through the next intersection. What a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity worth traffic with those. And who needs a Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Turn right when you can. Next right. If it's a kidnap, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. Straight through. Straight through the next intersection. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Castle. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. Take this left. Keep going on this road. Right up ahead. Taking the next left. God damn maniac! Straight through the next intersection. Straight through. Straight ahead here. Keep going straight. Straight over. Keep going straight. Keep going on this road. Go straight through here. Next right. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? Turn left up ahead. Take the next left. You could have killed him. Right up ahead. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Turn left up ahead. Straight through the next intersection. Cross over, keep going straight. Christ alive! Straight ahead here. All units, officers, have major 115, 1624 West 3rd Street, 1624 West 3rd Street. Any unit to handle code 3, identify. Car 11K, we'll handle the call. Oh, unbelievable. 
Take the next left. Take the next left. Now look what you've done! If you want instructions on how to wipe your ass, the next right. Turn right when you can. Take the next right. Take the next left. You need to take the next left. Take the next left. Next left. Turn left up ahead. Left, coming up. Take a left. Next left. Left, coming up. Careful! Going too fast! Take the next left. <laughs> 